Hey YouTuber, today we are going to go over a tutorial of how I painted this cool little piece here. What you say, you say, I can't paint that. Well, yes, you can. It really is easy, and all you got to do is understand a little bit about how contrast works to understand how to make something glow like that. So I thought I'd take a little bit of break. It's Christmas season heading into, and I do a lot of these pet portraits like this uh, throughout this season. So I wanted to get away from a little bit of fur. So we got this one coming. Let's get into the tutorial. Obviously, I'm going to start just like always with sketch. Okay, now that we got our sketch here, we're going to take a yellow, straight yellow. I've got some yellow in my cup, mixed in my cup with some reducer. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on that center part line that we made here. I'll let that blend just a little bit. We're gonna really carefully add just a little bit of yellow around the outer edge of our flame. We don't want to get too much in there. Here, we're gonna run that yellow, let it blend out. You'll notice I have two sketches. I decided I wanted a different size, so that's not a big deal. I added burnt sienna to my yellow. Made this light orange color. I didn't buy to clean my cup. Orangish brown. I'm going to take a shield here. You don't want to get up on your candle yet. So I'm going to take my shield. I'm going to run it over here. Make a nice crisp edge up against the flame. And then on this edge, we want to let it blend out off the tip of that flame. You don't want to start putting your darker parts in until you have your lighter parts underneath it. So you don't want to put your dark paint down until you got some light paint down. Now we're going to come over here to our candle and we want to stay off the very edge of it, fill in a little bit of color to this top. It's going to look way too dark right now. But once we start adding our darks in, it will all be fine. Don't have to worry about any edges, overspray, or anything on the edges out here because we're going to have darks put in there. circle is going to end right in there. Just make sure when you start putting darks in, you got to stay off with that candle. Then, same thing in here. We don't want to go all the way out to the edge. The spots that are going to get covered in darks, we'll put those in. And you don't have to worry about the wick at this point. Maybe put a little touch of that orange. You don't have to worry too much about that wick because it's going to be way, way dark. Okay. A little touch of violet to that and made it just a little bit darker. Pull out our shield again. Um, obviously, I'm being careful here. You probably don't want to use a texture shield in most cases like this. And you want to stay off. Make sure you stay off 
the candle again. We want to put a dark spot. By coming off that edge there and adding a little line right there and then backing off of it and then blending down from there, leaving that little space, that's going to create a little shadow that won't be real evident throughout the picture. But if you look at it closely later, you'll notice that it's there and it adds that effect of realism. It's gonna create a shadow. It makes it look like the wax is rolling on its edge. That is burnt umber and red violet to make up that dark uh, reddish brown mix right there and we're going to use that next. I'll get in dark and close on that flame. You want to get into the flame but you do not want to get into your candle wax i'm going to blend out again on my inside portion of my flame just on the bottom smooth, not pixelated. As we continue to darken around the candle wax, you can see how the contrast makes the picture come alive. Going to add a little bit of that color there on the bottom of the candle. And Some more of that trash in this thing we were talking about. Blend it a little closer on the edges, a little higher up on the edges. It gives that candle that rounded effect. It might go just a little bit higher there. We're going to come in just a little bit tighter on our flame. I am going to take my eraser. You don't have to necessarily, but I'm going to take my eraser. Run it around that edge and give me a little bit of a highlight. Now, I'm going to work on this wick a little bit. And I'm going to do it freehand if you need a shield. I've always told you guys, use a shield if you need to. And so what I'm going to do, I don't want to hit this very bottom on the candle. I want the edges to be just a little bit. on the rough side.
what I really want to do is go back to my orange color and bring that down so that wick has a little bit of more definition off of that wax. I should have done this before I came in with that darker color. That's all right. Hey, if you're liking what you're seeing, how about you take a moment after you get done watching this video, drop down below and hit that subscribe button. And, you know, ring that notification bell so you get notified of other videos that are coming out. I have over 50 videos in backlog here. If you're new to our channel, you can go through. And I got new videos coming out every week. Anyway, let's get back at it. Now, I have added some black to my red violet and made this color. This is what regular black looks like. This is what that looks like. It's just a little bit warmer. And it just keeps it from being a little bit on the harsh side as you get closer and closer to those edges. So we're going to come back. Definitely need a shield. Again. this thing just come alive you've got to get in here underneath and we got to stay off our candle but it needs to come in into your flame it's such a dark color we're using here so we want to come into that flame the bottom really get that effect in there and we're gonna do a little something to that but make that better Be careful with it, not get to 100% opacity. Now I'm going off. Now I've got some plain white in my cup, and it's reduced down a little bit. And we want to really gently, I've got this. What I want to do is put some white in here on the very, very edge of this stencil. I've got my handle covered up. What's going to happen is that's going to define that edge and it's going to make it appear because that white's going to shift. It's going to look a little bit on the blue side. And we're going to do just a tiny little bit on the other side as well. Just on the edge. might not want to try that on your first shot. I'm going to blend that white up just a little bit. All right, guys, a little bit different format than usual. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the tutorial today. If you got something out of this tutorial, hey, as always, I always ask that you give me a thumbs up and that you share the video. If you didn't get something out of it, you didn't like it, hey, give me a thumbs down and that's all right, too. But we appreciate you guys coming by. I got nothing else for you today. Y'all have a good one. Bye.